Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe in this pandemic session. Today, we are going to discuss about the accountancy syllabus for the session 2020-21. Before going into the depth of the subject, first let us know the blueprint of accountancy for 12th standard. So let's start. The session 2020-21 is divided into two parts. The first is part A and the other is part B. In the same way, you can say the accountancy subject is divided into two parts. The first is 80 marks and the other is 20 marks. The 20 marks totally depends upon your school teachers. Whether do you attend regular classes of that particular subject and whether do you complete your classwork on time and how do you perform that is what is your well-being in the school premises. And the remaining 80 marks totally depends upon your performance in the board exam. And that 80 marks is divided into two parts, that is part A and part B. Part A consists of 60 marks and part B consists of 20 marks. The part A consists of three units and the first unit is accounting for NPO. NPO, that is, not for Profit organization is that organization whose motive is not to earn profit but to work for the welfare of the society. That means how do they earn profit and how we will be doing their accountancy. And this unit consists of 10 marks. The second unit we'll be discussing about is accounting for Partnership firm. In this unit, we'll be discussing about how do the new partner enters the firm about the fundamentals of partnership and what happens when the existing partner leaves the firm, that is, retirement of a partner. What happens when there is a death of a partner? And what happens when the firm comes to an end? That is, resolution of partnership firm. This unit consists of 30 marks. The next unit consists of 20 marks. That is, accounting for companies. And in this unit, We'll be discussing about how do companies issue shares, debentures and redemption of debentures. Coming to the next part that consists of two units and the first unit is tools of financial statement. In this unit, we'll be discussing about how do a company compares its profit from other company, that is inter-firm comparison. Or you can say, when a company compares his profit from the other companies of different years. For example, Reliance Company versus AHL Company. The other is intra-firm comparison. Intra-firm comparison. Interfirm comparison means when a company compares the profit of the present year from the past years. How have they performed in the coming years? The different types of tools that the company uses for measuring the financial position of the business are common size, income statement, comparative, balance sheet, common size, balance sheet and ratio analysis. This unit consists of 12 marks. 
the last unit consists of eight marks that is cash flow statement in this unit we'll be studying about cash flow from operating activities investing activities and financing activities this is the performa of the upcoming session that is 2020 21